This is heavier. Oh, that was a big hit. Snuck, snuck all the way around the piling. Well, good morning everybody and or anybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Christian, this is Make Time for Fishing. I am in a brand new area I've never fished before. I've hardly ever been down here before. Not definitely haven't been on the water. I'm in Whedon Island Preserve in Tampa Bay, Gandhi area, and wow. I have never fished mangroves. This area is beautiful. I am very excited to get started. I'm just going to get to it. I have live shrimp with me. I stopped at a bait shop on the way here. I have about three dozen of those, but I'm going to be starting out with artificial. Paddle tails, maybe some top water. I've already seen a lot of blow ups. Goal is snook, um, maybe some redfish from down here. Snapper would be cool. Jacks would be fun. I know it's trash fish to a lot of people, but I've never caught one. Anyway, I'm just going to start fishing. There's a lot of amazing looking spots here. A lot of water to cover and uh, only a few hours to do it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy the video and hopefully we get some fish. I'm going to start fishing. So what I'm starting out with is a 1 8 ounce Texas Eye jig with a 5 inch paddlers from Z-Man. Kind of a mullet looking color. And I'm going to start fishing around mangrove points and just random spots in the mangroves. I uh, know nothing about fishing mangroves. So this is all figure out as I go type situation. Hopefully I can get some fish. This tied on, this might be a mistake, but I'm going to give it a shot. A full size super spook. Wow, there's just a lot happening. Should be able to cast a mile. I haven't walked the dog in a while. Oh! I already got swirled on. Come on. I got swirled on like three times on the first cast. And it was a terrible walk the dog. I, at this point, just want to catch a fish. <laughs> got bumped a couple of times, but no hookups or anything yet. So I'm gonna throw some live shrimp up under these uh, mangroves here. See if I can find something interesting. I'm just gonna go through the tail like that. A little split shot rig, 20 pound leader. All right, going to throw some shrimp under these docks on a split shot rig. Ripped the tail off, ran the hook through them. If I can find any fish, snook, sheep's head, redfish, just under, this, under these docks. Oh man, I didn't even feel that. I think I was getting sheep's headed. It's almost all gone. Let's see if we can get them with the bit of shrimp that's still on the hook. Got something. I think it's a sheep. Yep. It's only fitting the first fish of the day would be a little sheep's head. Well, cool. Alright, well, I guess I. I've at least caught a fish today. Little, whoop, <laughs> little probably 10 inch or so sheep's head on a live shrimp. So everyone who said I should use live shrimp, there you go. All right, well, I've been getting picked apart under here. And I don't know if it's snapper or what they are, but they're nailing my baits. Just really ripping them. Getting bit. Oh, ha. <laughs> little mangrove snapper. Tiny, but a uh, new species. Cool. I'd like to get one bigger. Look at those teeth. Cool. Pretty little fish. This is just the tail now. I'm thinking it's probably snapper. Yep, another little snapper. Uh -oh. 
I'm in a trace. Another mangrove. Moving up in size a little bit, maybe. These guys are pretty cool looking. And uh, this is my first day ever catching them. I caught three of these guys now, little sheep's head. Figuring something out. Okay, let's move on from the mangroves. Go back onto some docks and see if uh, I can find a snook or a redfish. The dock I was fishing before, something just blew up under there. I think it was a snook. I'd love to catch a snook no matter how small. So I'm gonna inch my way over here and free line a little shrimp under there and see if I can find something. That's better. Let it sink. Oh, someone's already got it. This is heavier. Oh, I think it's a snook. I think it's a snook. Oh, it is. Awesome. <laughs> And this is a little one, but that was still very cool. All right, stay out of the mangroves. There's a bigger one with him too. Let's get him landed so I can look at him. No, 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 no. Get away from there. Okay, come here. All right, sweet. I love when a plan comes together. Okay, let's get a look at this guy and get him back in the water. I'm thinking he's probably about 20 inches or so. So I know nothing about snook. I know there's different species of them and stuff, and this is a little one. Maybe even 18, 19, I'll measure them in a second. But they are really cool looking fish. They have this cool lateral line, big bucket mouth on them. Look at that. And they just demolish mullet and stuff like that. You hear them blow up all the time. Measure them. No, my PB. Uh, 21 and a half. Okay. <laughs> Another new species. Let's get them in the water and get them back. Unfortunately, I don't have my uh, second camera with me today, so I can't get the uh, selfie shot with them, but that's okay. I just want to get them back quickly and healthy. Okay. <laughs> nice. Let's see if we can find another guy. Check my leader. Snook are known for fraying leaders. Feels okay, surprisingly, but um, awesome. Oh, I actually see one. A snook right there in the shallows. He's a very small guy. I want to see if I can sight cast him, that would be cool. I think I lost sight of him for a second. Let's see if I can spot him again. He was cruising right up in that sandbar. It was very small. He was smaller than the last one I just caught, but it still would be cool to catch. Oh, wait, he's looking at it right now. He was looking at it. It's right in front of me. He saw me. I don't know if he'll eat it still. Okay. This one's a little bit bigger, I think. They fight hard for their size. Just for you guys at home, because I have no idea, this, this little guy is only about 10 inches or so. They fight like a tank, like it feels like a much bigger fish. They do get bigger, but I know they're not known for being very large. Cool fish. Super aggressive though. <laughs> Pretty decent sized snapper though. Let's move on to another dock. Seems like this one's pretty snapper saturated. All right, well this guy's not alive. So let's take that tail off. Throw him under there, see if something will pick up a fresh dead. Another snapper. That's why they're called a snapper. 
snappers everywhere. I had no idea they were this abundant. Like they're, what's rare is the bigger ones that you would actually want to eat. Apparently they're tasty. Let's try one more shrimp on this dock. See if we can find something besides a snapper. Oh. Nope, just another snapper. Wow, there's a whole school of snapper in there. Here's the rig. Single split shot above a size one mosquito hook with a uh, medium sized live shrimp. Oh my gosh. Holy, what the heck was that? All right, I just have the little tail left. <laughs> Rehooked it. I'm gonna see if I can find whatever that was. I'm thinking it was just a snapper that caught me off guard, but that bite was so hard. Pretty big snapper. Very cool fish. There he goes. See a few smaller snook under this dock here. Hoping I can get lucky. Let's see if he'll go for it. it. Looks like he's moving right towards it. He's moving right for it. Yep, come on. Oh, that was a big hit. It's a snook, snook, all the way around the piling. Oh gosh. I have a snook on, anchor pulls down, and he's around the piling. <laughs> there we go. No, 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 no. This way. Come on. There we go. Oh my gosh, he's going around every single piling. There we go. Oh, that's another one. Oh, wow. Oh, those are mullet. And this one is fighting hard. Nice. Sweet. Another little snook. He really, really took me in there. Look at that. Right in the top of the mouth. He's about the same size as the one I caught earlier. Probably a nice little like 20 inch or so. Let's measure him just to see. So these fish are brand new to me. Yeah, 20 and a half, 21, just like the first one. This water is so clear. <laughs> there we go. Little snapper. Hit it pretty immediately. Oh, actually, that's one of the bigger, bigger ones I've had today. Oh yeah, there's a snook right there. Little guy, but I only caught a couple today. Snapper. Another better one though, wow. And I'm almost out of shrimp, so I'm trying to burn through them and hopefully find a snook while doing it. Targeting the areas where I saw the most snook earlier and where I caught my uh, snook earlier. Oh, 
Oh, that's a pretty big snapper. I think that's my biggest snapper yet. Not too shabby at all. That's a little bit over a 12 inch snapper. I don't know what the limit is, but that might be a keeper. Cool. Oh, that's a sheep. Nice. Pretty decent sheep's head. Little guy, maybe nine, ten inches. Ah, no, I bet he's over ten. Oh, he's actually a 12 incher. Not sure what the limit is here, but again, doesn't matter. I'm not keeping anything while I'm here. Cool. Alright, just have a few shrimp left here. Getting hit like crazy down there. These mangrove snappers are super aggressive. Oh, wow. This one's heavy. Another one about probably 10, 12 inches. Alrighty, well I'm heading in now. I had a good day. Uh, caught a lot more fish than I expected to. A ton of mangrove snapper. Uh, three or four sheep's head, uh, two snook, which was really my target today, so I'm happy. Nothing of a huge size, but I did catch a few that would be considered keepers, uh, at least with the mangrove snappers, I think. I have to look it up later. But for my first time out here ever, I'm really happy with how it went. I wanted to catch something on artificial, and I threw that for about two hours, but with no luck. So thankfully I got those live shrimp. The free lining and split shot rigger both worked out for me well. The majority of the fish I caught were on a size one mosquito hook like I use for sheep's head. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.